Good morning, Soul Family. Today is July 26th, Sunday, and I was guided to do uh, an angel card reading for you guys. Well, not a reading, more or less a, a pick a card. So you pick a card, and the angels have a message for you. So I have card number one, two, and three. So if you need to take a moment to tune in to pick up the energy. Oh, look who came in, Minerva. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video and focus your, your intent on a card. And where you going, Nerve? Makes my stomach growl. They say, Rawr. <sighs> You gonna ring bells? You gonna give out wings? You gonna give out wings? You my kitty girl? You pretty kitty? You saw that? She was batting at the air. I did see something come up to the phone a second ago and then she went to the angel and she batted it and then she started to play with something in the air. Are there any orbs here? Any angels? Are there any angels? You want to come up to my camera? That'd be pretty cool if you came up to my camera while I'm doing a reading. You playing with Minerva? Okay. There might be a manifestation of something that wants to happen, but I don't want to sit here for 20 minutes to find out if it happens. Sometimes it takes them up to at least 20 minutes to manifest. I'm not sure why. It's just my experience from recording orbs when I used to share a lot of orb videos for you guys. That's how my channel originated. It was Gabrielle Garcia Orbs. I was trying to prove to a few people that there were these plasma creatures. Oh, hello, hi. Look at that, you guys, what a blessing. <laughs> that came up to the camera while I was recording. That's exactly what I was um, recording <laughs> when my channel was Gabrielle Garcia Orbs, and it was to prove that there were these plasma creatures, that there were these entities that came from other dimensions and for the longest time, my husband and everybody else was like, oh, you're seeing things, it's dust, blah, blah, blah. So I made it a point to record every single day. And then the, the, the orbs of light started to come up to my camera and hover in front of the camera and play around. I have these videos on my YouTube channel in my playlist. You'll just have to go through them. Um, it starts off in 2015 high. Uh, and it goes all the way to um, 2020, I think, or 2000, 2019. I don't think I've updated my playlist. Um, a lot of my videos are very long, only because I didn't know how to do edits back then. I didn't know how to cut out all the boring parts. So they've gotten better. I meant to put um, another playlist on my playlist, putting all my favorite orb videos in there, the ones that, um, you know, aren't so long and boring. Okay, 11, is that you? There's one plasma creature that I named 11, um, only because when I called out to 11, it would come up to my camera. And if it was 11, 11 would come right up to the camera. Oh, that could have been, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quick to say, hey, that was an orb, because you know that could be dust too, but because of the activity we just had, it's a possibility. Let's try one more time and we'll get back to the cards, I promise. Eleven, is that you? Are 
Are there any elementals here? Are there any angels here? Was that it? Was that your only appearance? We're done? Are we done? Can you come up to the camera one more time? Okay, I guess we're donezo. We are donezo. They don't usually come out at this hour either, 5.49 in the morning. Well, I can't really say that because I've had orbs come out at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what time. It just seems like the activity doesn't, isn't so much when the daylight comes, comes in. It, it slows down. Don't know why. Okay, I'm going to go back to the card reading. I thank you for making your appearance when I was talking. That was pretty dope. Okay, so back to the cards, you guys. So this is a pick a card, card reading. And this is card number one, card number two, and card number three. I want you to go ahead and tune in. What card grabs your attention? What card is speaking to you? What card is pulling your energy to it? <clears throat> That's the card I want you to pick. If you're drawn to more than one card, then pay attention because the angels have more than one message for you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the cards over. So if you chose card number one, it's a message from Angel Akasha. And Angel Akasha's message to you is, you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine mission. So there's probably some new souls out there that are just waking up and, um, you know, have been walking on this path for a while and have been getting this divine knowledge and you find yourself teaching this divine knowledge that you've been learning. So Akasha is telling you that you are a spiritual teacher and that you have this ability to teach others, counsel others, talk to others, and help them awaken their spiritual gifts like how you have awoken your spiritual gifts. So thank you, Angel Akasha. Card number two comes from Angel Chantel. Angel Chantel's message for you guys is new romance is infinite. Either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Ooh la la, the season of love and fire is burning. <laughs> Leo season. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel congested. So Angel Chantel is telling somebody out there that there is something brewing. There's some fire out there. And new romance, new love, new something out there. And um, go for it. Get yours, you guys. Enjoy this new relationship. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. She's also telling you that it could be somebody from your past or existing. Maybe you have been married for a very long time or you've been in a relationship with your significant other for a very, very long time and you felt that there was some sort of drop in your romantic relationship. Um, Chantel is telling you that there is some passion brewing up in this relationship. Maybe something inside one of you has woken up and and the fires are starting to burn again. When I when I see a message like this from Chant Chantel, it's like seeing um, 
a pilot light burning and all of a sudden it just goes low, 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 like this and then it goes out, but it's not really out. There's, it's still burning. It's just that it's so low that you can't really even tell that it's burning until you give it a little gas and then all of a sudden the fire grows. So I'm seeing that there's something in a relationship, a relationship, there's somebody out there that is going through something where they felt like it wasn't going to work out anymore and now you or both of you together have been making an effort to make that fire burn. So enjoy that relationship and experiment and do new things. Go out and do things that you did when you first met each other. Go on dates. Um, if you have children, get a babysitter. Even if your date is to go and just drive and sit, you know, on the on the parkway where the airplanes fly over your head, <clears throat> or if it's um, to go walk the pier or to sit on the beach, it doesn't have to be going out to a fancy restaurant. It could be just driving around and admiring the neighborhood, different neighborhoods that you know you're not used to and and you, you want to just take a drive and just look around the area and see how other people live. Um, I like to do stuff like that. I don't know if that's weird. I like to drive around in like beautiful neighborhoods and look at their houses and just dream. <laughs> um, in the fall season, I like to drive in... Uh, what is that? Is that kitty scratching? Kitty, 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 kitty. Minerva. I don't see kitty. I wonder if the camera picked that up. That literally sounded like the cat was right there scratching. Yeah, they're new. Um, what else do I like to do? I just like to watch the leaves change colors. I really love doing that. Um, what else do me and my husband do? We like to go antiquing. It's something that we both like, so we do it together. So do things that make you both happy. Look at that, kitty's right there. Were you scratching on something? Were you doing naughty girl? Were you doing naughty girl? That's her bagel. I was eating a bagel. And she's gonna play with her food and make a big mess. Yep, I'm gonna have to clean up her mess. Oh, there's the other bagel that I thought she ate. <laughs> she's a little shit, you guys. Okay, let's get back to the cards. <laughs> she's distracting me. So yes, go for your, yours, you guys, and reignite that fire and if you're in a new relationship enjoy the feeling of that fire as it grows thank you angel Chantel card number three is coming a message is coming from angel Desiree angel Desiree's message to you is no conditions aren't favorable right now wait or Look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So if there's something that's been weighing heavy on your mind and you've been trying to make a decision about it, if you should do it or not do it, go for it or not go for it, or whatever the case may be, if it's something that you've been questioning and you chose this card, Angel Desiree is telling you that the conditions aren't favorable right now. It's not the right time to do whatever it is that you've been wanting to do or get whatever it is that you've been wanting to get or date whoever it is that you've been wanting to date or talk to. Um, the, the situation is not a good situation right now and that you should wait. So if you are in a new relationship, this is an example, if you are in a new relationship, you may wanna just wait and not jump into things too quickly. Don't move in with each other too quickly. Don't go 
spending all your money on this person too quickly. Uh, don't give too quickly. You know, take things slowly and keep your options open. You know, don't just settle for the first thing that comes to you. Um, try dating, you know, uh, courting other people. If you're, a, if, you're a, if you're a male, court other females. Um, if you're a female, don't just settle. Allow yourself to go on another date with another gentleman because you don't want to settle for less. If it's buying a car, maybe you should wait right now. For whatever reason, Desiree is telling you that right now is not good. Maybe in a month from now would be better. Maybe in two weeks from now would be better. But today and tomorrow, right now, is not favorable. It's not a good time. Look into other options. There are other options out there. That's all she's telling you. There are, there are other options. Okay? And if you feel like you're in a spot where you just don't know what to do, She's telling you, ask the angels for help. They will guide you. They will comfort you. And you know how you do this? You meditate or pray, whatever it is that you do. Meditate and pray. Meditate or pray. Sit in silence and clear your mind. And the angels will come through and they will guide you. Or your higher self will guide you. You will get guidance if you sit in silence. Um, it's kind of weird that these two cards come together. <laughs> They're right next to each other. And I was just talking about relationship. I don't know. It feels like a, a lot of relationship information is coming up. Um, it's a possibility that there's somebody in a new relationship that is interested in having a love life because they feel lonely and they have a lot of, I feel like this is a male figure. I feel like this male figure has a lot of women that are throwing themselves at this guy. Whoever this guy is, if you're watching this and you feel like this message is for you, it's because it is for you. There's a, there's a man out there that is on a spiritual journey and he's new to this journey and, um, he desires some sort of love because there's a, a void. There's a loneliness that is lingering. And Desiree, Angel Desiree, is saying, hey, listen, right now is not the right time to look for this love. You know, I don't want to keep this love for you. It's not that I don't want you to have it. But right now is just not a good time for it because you are still so new on this journey that you know you're learning and you're learning because we need you to teach what you've learned so take the time to continue learning so you can teach and focus on yourself before you can focus on somebody else you will get there you're only lonely because you're you're your 3D human is lonely. Your ego is craving, you know, uh, another ego to, to connect with. Your soul is really not lonely. Your soul wants to learn. Your soul wants this right now. Your soul needs this right now. And she's telling you, feed your soul before you feed your lust, your, uh, your desires, your wants. And if you wait, there will be true passion. There will be fire. There will be love. This is a fire sign. That's what I just heard. This is for a fire sign. There's love. There's passion. It, it, you will get everything that you want, and you're going to find it if you focus on your path. You're going to find somebody that is just like you. That's what I just heard. So that is the message that came through these cards, you guys. I hope you like the reading. I hope you like this. This is a little different than doing the intuition exercises. And sorry I got distracted, um, you know, at the beginning of the video with Kitty. <laughs> She's just so damn cute. How can you not be distracted? You saw that? She jumped. I don't know. I really do feel like there is some sort of energy in the house today. There's always energy in the house. No matter where I go, there's something. 
I hope you enjoyed the orb that came up to the, the phone. I want to say the angel because I was, you know, talking about angels in the beginning. Actually, I was talking about plasma creatures and it just popped up. All right, guys, I love you lots. Stay hydrated, stay positive, stay healthy. And if you have any bad habits that is going to break down your human avatar and harm you in any way, please stay focused. And um, I, I'm hearing smoking. Like, I feel like I feel like this reading is turned into a message for one individual person or maybe multiple that have similar situations. There's somebody out there that smokes cigarettes and spirit wants you to know that you need to quit if you want to continue your journey or something. I'm, um, think here. Let me close my eyes. My ears are popping. stomach is growling <laughs> yeah and smoking I just see somebody putting a cigarette to their mouth and smoking spirit wants you to work on that habit you you will have clear you will get clear message more you get messages but you will get more clarity from spirit if you can break some of these habits. That's all I see. I see smoke. Well, that's a pretty cool message to come through. Spirit's looking out for your health, you guys. You want to live longer with everything that's going on in this world, you just got to take care of your body. Got to eat right. You got to drink water. Um, stay away from sugar. If, you're, if you have any bad habits, if you drink alcohol, I'm not saying that you should quit drinking alcohol, but you should watch how much you drink, how much you're consuming. If you smoke cigarettes, that's, you know, I'm not here to tell you that smoking is good or bad, um, but I, you know, in a physical aspect, it's not good for your body. You know, it's going to harm you in the long run. Doesn't that look like a smoke, the little psh, whatever just went by the camera looked like smoke from a cigarette. I don't know if you saw that. It was on, it was on right here. It went psh. Yeah. You gotta, um... Take care of your body. Your body is your armor. And as we go through all of these um, shifts, these energy shifts, you're going to need your armor to be very strong. You're going to need your mind to be very strong. You're going to need to be strong physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we have a long road ahead of us. Um, we are in a spiritual war. And if it comes down to it, you know, turning into a physical war with everything that's going on with politics and, you know, viruses and all that jazz and something, you know, um, turns for the worst and, you know, we get, I don't even want to say because I don't want to make this into fear mongering, but if it comes to a point where you know they they take away our resources from us we're gonna need to learn how to be resourceful and you know um, you're gonna have to be physically fit to be resourceful because it's gonna take a lot of you know your energy physically to I'm hearing ground zero like zero I'm seeing like they're showing me kind of like the prairie days, like when people were working in the, on the prairies, I'm seeing mountains with just grass and people cultivating their land. That's what I'm seeing. And um, I'm even seeing not tractors, but I'm seeing like a, like a reset from the beginning 
where people were, are using animals to cultivate their land, not tractors and gas and fuels. They're literally doing it themselves with animals. And it's like a whole reset, a start over. I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen. That's just what I see in my mind. And you know, if something were to go down, you would need to be physically fit, you know, like the people that used to cultivate the land back in the days before, you know, they had tractors and all that good stuff. So yeah, whatever it is that you're doing, if you have any bad habits that, that, it, that is going to break you down physically, um, the message is, you know, just work on getting healthy, getting fit, and staying positive, basically. Okay, guys, I love you. I have to start getting ready for work. Today is my Friday. Yay. I love you guys. Take care.